He is a actually a treasure hunter. Please welcome Brock Lovitz. He's so far away. Yeah. Be in between. Brock Lovitz. Freeze. Rock. Brock, it's so great to see you again. Thanks, Scott. It's good to be here. <laughs> Never prepared for it. I always appreciate you having me on your show. Yep. You like Spotify, Brock? I mean, it's all right. I don't like cloud stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm a real under the sea guy. Do you collect... That's like the opposite. Yeah, you and Sebastian. Do you collect CDs? Hey, what happened to your head? <laughs> I had brain surgery. We never got nice. into that, but, but Tracy's head, she has a scar on the side of her head. It's all, yeah. It's better if you don't acknowledge things like that about people. Yeah. You know what? You're right, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I behaved ungentlemanly. <laughs> do, you, do you have CDs because it has the, the word C in them? <laughs> That's right. Boy, was I surprised. Although I do have CDs with ocean sounds, that's pretty good. Sure, yeah. So, uh, Brock Lovett, for those people who don't, and I can't imagine that uh, anyone doesn't know what you do, but uh, just describe... I mean, you announced it. I'm a treasure hunter. You're a treasure hunter, and the treasure wow. is, is not upon the land. It is primarily resides... Under the sea. <laughs> I specialize in buried treasure. Whoa. Why'd you look at me like that? I thought you'd be interested because of all your piercings. Oh, yeah. Did you get anything cool down there? Yeah. Hey, thanks for asking. Was, this is great. Was all the treasure in a treasure chest, or was it like in a bag, and that's like a not a real thing? Because already the, the water is enough of an obstacle, but then to add a treasure chest on top of that? Here are the, here are the different ways you can find treasure under the water. Sometimes it's in a treasure chest. If you're lucky, it'll be overflowing with treasure. And the lid will be like, you can't even close it. Yeah. And that's the best. And yet it will not be floating upwards. <laughs> it'll be spilling out of the The jewels chest. don't float. Yeah, it's still metal and rocks and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, diamonds aren't filled with helium. Why would they... I think you should go check Kulop's wing. <laughs> it sounds like a piece of shit. <laughs> it floats in water. <laughs> so what are the other ways that... Uh... Okay, so that's the best way. Okay. The other way is inside a ship. You can go in there and it's just lying around. Do you ever see dead pirates? All the time. Yikes! The scariest thing you could see underwater... Is like a guy in an old-fashioned diving suit just like going like this. And a bunch of bubbles are coming out of him. That's terrifying. Do you I've, go swimming in fish tanks only? <laughs> I, I'm starting to doubt that you've ever actually what? been in the, the ocean. I've been You're in, just describing an aquarium. I've been in every ocean. <laughs> all, all, hey, uh, how many times have you been down to the sea floor? Uh, I mean, when I go to the beach. You go to the sea floor? I mean, it, when you just walk out in ankle deep, you're on the sea floor. That's the beach, man. That's not the sea floor. <laughs> you think because you're standing in a little bit of water, you're in the sea floor? You turn what, what am I floating on top of the water? Who am I, Jesus? What are you, a diamond? <laughs> I got him. You got him. <laughs> so then, the worst way to find treasures when it's under the sand. Because why? Because you got to dig for it. Oh, duh. Because sometimes you'll just be like waving your hand around, just pushing sand all over the place, and like, no doubloons. <laughs> this was a waste of sand pushing. How do you know when there's treasure under the sand? Well, we track where wrecks have happened. We have metal detectors that work underwater. And we have treasure hunter's instinct. So but, you're born with that. Maybe. But, or maybe it's Maybelline? Maybe. The tests are inconclusive. It could but be I do, eyeliner? I do feel good if I put on some eyeliner and I go under the water. 
But weren't you saying that it's mainly through message boards, treasure hunter message boards? That's how you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, you get a lot of tips, but you still got to go get it. <laughs> Why are people posting it on the message boards and then not getting it? <laughs> There's, look, you, you ever heard of train spotting? Not the movie, but the practice? Sure. I haven't. These, pe- these are people that are just interested in the schedule of the train. They don't get on the train. They don't drive the train. They got nothing to do with the train except the schedule. Why? There's people that, they're weirdos. <laughs> they just oh. want, oh, okay. Oh. They just want to see the train go by? They just want to make a note of the train's comings and goings. This is a real thing. Wow. And their children? No. <laughs> okay. So this is like that, but with treasure. Right. So now... Right. <laughs> Glad I answered it to your satisfaction. You but ridiculed excuse me. Excuse me for putting a period at the end of this thought. You ridiculed me, on. then I shut you down in style, and now you answer with Right. I'm not sure that's exactly what happened. No, I shut you down with style. Do you want to see the transcripts? <laughs> Send away to Burrell's. Get a couple old Oprah's while you're at it. A People's Court or two. Was it the only place that did those? They were number one, Burrell's. Why would you want that? I guess if you wanted to put on your own Oprah show at home. I do want to do that. I had a feeling. <laughs> that sounds fun. So now people, people they would oh know God. you, uh, Brock. They would know of your work, at least, because there was a fictionalized version of Ugh. yourself in the movie Man. Titanic. Why does this come up every time? <laughs> yes, the movie Titanic. You were in a movie? He was not no, in a movie. I was played by the actor Bill Paxton. <laughs> From Fly Away Home? How do you know what yeah. that is? Yeah. Is that a movie or a TV show? It's a movie, but I've never seen it. About the ducks? <laughs> the Mighty Ducks? The hockey team? That's the movie they go The Mighty quack, Ducks. Quack. <laughs> Whatever, move on. Or The Mighty Ducks 2. <laughs> um, Mighty Ducks 2, Mighty Ducks 3. Back in the Quack Attack. <laughs> <laughs> quack Attack is back, Jack. What? I've never seen it. <laughs> So you, uh, uh, Bill Paxton played you in a movie where you were out there doing what y- you did in real life, which yeah. is hunting for a certain necklace. That's right. Cor de la Mer. What does that mean, the, the cord of the sea? The heart of heart the of, sea. Heart of the ocean. Uh, yeah. Why would the one word remain the same? It's kind of like how hello is the same in Spanish, just a little different. It's not, though. It's not. You're telling me, hola, is not the same as hello. <laughs> if you're looking in the mirror and facing backwards, babe. She's got you there. Felice <laughs> got me there? Yeah. She was talking to you. I'm talking to I don't both think of so. you. <laughs> she shut you down in style. What? Did you? Only if you think I did. Well, then, no. <laughs> So you, you, a few years back, you were searching for the Cor de la Mer. Yeah, and, the heart of the ocean. And Can you, you say it with a good accent? What? You're saying Cor de la Mer. It's like Cor de la Mer. Cor de la Mer. Yeah. So you were looking for the Cor de la Mer. And you, you found a lead. And yeah. you thought you had it, and you were talking to this woman, Rose. I had to listen to this lady's story for hours. <laughs> How old was she? I don't know, 200. (laughs) And then at the end of the story, I was like, this is a cool old lady, we're friends. I finally see that movie. She threw it in the ocean, she never told me that. Does that count as treasure? If it just got thrown in? How does treasure get there? Treasure has to be gotten from uh, ill Ill-gotten gains? Is that what it is? No, what, that's a thief. <laughs> it's not a treasure hunter. Well, you hey, don't... hands up! I'm a treasure hunter. <laughs> Give me all the treasure in your pockets. Are you holding us up? Oh, my house got burned down. It could be the work of a treasure hunter. 
If you're good, if you're really trying to get our treasure, I got bad news for you, buddy. I'm not trying to get your treasure. But it I want to me- tell you, the no. only treasure I have is a dead fly on a leash. He's That's a not- little freak on a leash. <laughs> and the only treasure in Scott's wallet is a million dollars in toonies. <laughs> it's clanging around. I'm so- not interested in your land treasures. Uh, you're really not. No. He, he, he likes to get treasures exclusively in the sea. If it's wet, you bet. <laughs> so that's if, your, it, that's if it's dry, he... bye-bye. <laughs> so that's why your shirt says that on the front and the back? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what if it's wet, you bet meant. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Make Even if you love. see both sides of the shirt, you don't have any context for me. It's an upsetting T-shirt. But I printed up, I printed up twelve thousand of them. What am well, I supposed why, to do? Why do you just have a clam with a pearl inside on the back? I feel like people are so turned off by the front, they don't even bother figuring out the back. It must take you so long to wring out all the. Money, or because is it paper paper bills as well? Paper bills. I don't know. It's gold coins. Haven't you ever seen a cartoon? It, there are no paper bills. It's just gold coins. Very necklaces. rarely it's paper bills, but that doesn't really feel like treasure. It's got to be like coins and and precious metals and diamonds and rubies and stuff like that, man. That's why this necklace was such a big get for me. Yeah. So and you that got old it? lady threw it in the water. Did you ever get it? No. I tried to go back there. And then what happened? I couldn't find it. Did you like hang out by the sewer entrances by there and just hope by it By the would... ocean? <laughs> yeah, I went to where the ocean turns into the sewer. He thinks the sand I right by the beach there. is the bottom of the sea, and you think a sewer in the sidewalk is where the ocean leads? I took my flashlight. I was looking at all the sewer grates. Oh, Where's that you, dang necklace? Did you see Pennywise? The clown? <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you something about that guy? Yeah. Do you know him? No. I think he's terrible at his job. Yeah, because those kids all lived? Yeah. They beat him twice. I read an article about it in case you're wondering. I saw your discerning look. It also was a book. You could have just read that. When he's like, oh, you know, I, I tenderize the, I like to eat fear, and so I tenderize the, the, my victims by making them more afraid. I think he's stalling for time. <laughs> he really is. He doesn't know what to do with this guy. He's an evil clown. He couldn't <laughs> kill a bunch of kids. Yeah. He sucks. <laughs> now his brother... Pound foolish. (laughs) That guy's great. (laughs) He's super competent. Is he a legal man? A what? A legal man? What does that mean? A a lawyer? Yeah, like a lawyer, an accountant or something. A notary public. Pound foolish? Why are you asking me? (laughs) He just shut you down good. No way. I did it with style. (laughs) So what are you doing in Toronto now? Is there treasure about? There must be. Has any treasure hunter searched through the Great Lake of Ontario? I know where I am. I heard that there might be some treasure here because, you know, this is where the Arabian Nights had so many parties. but I think I got a bad lead. (laughs) Did you just see a picture in the paper? (laughs) Yeah, I saw this picture. It's an old-looking picture. And I was like, okay, they've been here. (laughs) I'm sorry that... So I got on my banana boat. I was cruising around Lake Ontario, just going, damn! (laughs) To, like, echolocate. It didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work. No treasures. Yeah. 
Did you ever try to echolocate like a dolphin? Like, yeah, I do it with dolphins. You do? Yeah. Are you friends with them? Some. <laughs> do you ever like? If they're not stuck up. Do you ever stand on two dolphins' backs and like put a rope around them and go like, woo? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That makes me feel like Aquaman. Do you wear a cape? No. What do you wear to go treasure hunting? I wear, you know, like a wetsuit. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have to wear a wetsuit because I'm in a submersible. I'm like, like a little diving bell. And I go down. It's got headlights and stuff. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah. And then I could see like an old wreck. I could see, you know, treasure chests. I could see a moray eel. <laughs> How, That's how many... a moray. <laughs> when one of those hits your eye? <laughs> That's a moray. And your eye is gone. I'll be like, there goes a dogfish. It's chased by a catfish. <laughs> Walk opposite? There goes a narwhal. Oh my God, it's a bikini whale. <laughs> These are all the creatures that you see under the yeah. sea. Ooh. <laughs> What's that song? What? What song? Um, the atonal sound you made at the end of your... <laughs> under the sea. What? I just said under the sea. Say it monotone. Okay. I look for treasure under the sea. <laughs> Can you not hear the difference? What difference are you talking about? Do an impression. <laughs> of him? Of anyone. <laughs> Go! Of anyone? <laughs> ah, good to be here. Here's something. <laughs> Why don't we say it? We'll both say under the sea normal at the same time. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'll like, do it as Jay Leto? If you like. Okay. I well, like to find treasure yeah, under, under the, the sea. sea. <laughs> it's the same except he's Jay Leno. <laughs> okay. I guess I'd take your word for it. Why wouldn't you? Because you seem like a skeezy liar. What? <laughs> You guys were getting along so well until you half sang Under the Sea. I'm not... What are you talking hey, about? Hey! See? What? You're singing and you're denying it. I'm like not Peter. The From apostle who denied our Lord three times? Yeah. From the Before the cock road in the Garden of Gethsemane? How dare you? Yeah. I see you've read our favorite book. It's a great book. It's so good. The Immortal Bard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, Brock, what are you going to do in Toronto now that it seems your treasure hunting hopes are dashed? I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a nice town. It's the literal center of the universe. Is it? Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. It's been proven. People know this, right? A I, feel like some people who, best. I feel like some people who didn't know it pretended they did know it. <laughs> you, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> wow. I don't know. I thought I could uh, go to my hotel room, write up some interview questions. <laughs> try, try my hand at hosting something. <laughs> I just, you know, the, the first thing I asked you of what are you doing in Toronto immediately did not pan out. What do you mean? Wow, so you, you, you were searching for uh, the treasure that did not appear. Yeah, this was today. Give me a break, man. I so got it you... yesterday. I went out searching for treasure today, came up empty, and now you're like, what are you going to do now? Buck, Buck, How do you... Buck, do you, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> do you ever use, like, a metal detector on the beach? I can't do it. Why? <sighs> That's we, the you land. You have weak arms. What? What a weird leap to make. Your arms are so weak that you try to pick up a metal detector and they just turn into two noodles. Do you know what? This sounds like you're projecting. Oh, you think I have weak arms? I think you're somebody who's tried to use a metal detector and you couldn't wow. do it. I actually have used a metal detector and I found something very interesting, but oh. I guess you don't even care about that since it was on land. <laughs> what did you find? Was this all set up so I'd ask you about <laughs> what you found? No, but it worked out. Well, take a guess. Now I gotta <laughs> guess? What? What? 
What Let's if you played hangman? hangman? Okay. Okay. Just so you just okay. So wait. Eight letters and the f- it's two words. The first word is metal and the second word is eight letters. The first word is metal. The second word is eight letters. Yeah, and you're playing hangman. Now your time starts All right. now. It's not a timed event, though. There are no but penalties. But his time does start now. Okay. okay. Is there a D? Nope, that's a head. Is there a J? Nope, that's a body. Is there a K? Yes, that's the second letter. Out of eight. <laughs> what might come before K? Is there an S? Yes. It comes before K. He knows. I talked to him about what I found. SK out of eight. Metal SK out of eight. (laughs) Is there an E? Yes. Uh, There are two E's. Where? S-K-E. S-K-E space E blank, blank, blank. What? (laughs) S-K-E. Space, 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 E, E, and then space, we switch space, to blanks. Space. Blank, blank, okay, blank. well, yeah. sorry. You're not playing BT Dubs. It's all about this guy. Yeah, BT Dubs. <laughs> Come on, you're almost there. You know, you know it. Is there a T? Yes, that comes before the O N. <laughs> Did you find a metal skeleton? Yeah! It was a dead robot. Must have been under there a long time. Uh, yeah, actually, I think it was kind of recent. It was Will Smith's robot maid. He buried her. Why would he bury her on the beach? Do you, do you think he murdered her? I'm not start saying it right now, but I am starting a podcast. Can I tell you something? The beach is a terrible place to, bur- to bury a body. It's real bad. Did you do it before? No. <laughs> Where? I What's didn't kill the, that old lady. Is Rose still with us? Rose? No, she passed. Who is the what youngest, a real shame. Who is the youngest person you've killed? Yeah, good to... Oh. <laughs> I thought we were changing the topic. You can answer it. Look, I'm not a murderer. I'm just a treasure hunter. But you have a Bailey treasure yourself? Like, you, got, you take so much yeah, treasure take, from the take earth. Take some, leave some. Yeah, take a penny, leave a penny. I've not buried treasure, but I have at the behest of a lot of schools where I went and spoke on career days. A lot of the kids will give me a flat Stanley to take around the world with me. I buried all of them under the ocean. You're just supposed to take pictures of it and send it back. I guess I wasn't paying attention. You just took them and buried them? Yeah. That feels creepy. Like, you knew it was a little person, and you just, like, dug a hole and put it in. And <laughs> Do you just have a mass grave of Flat Stanleys? <laughs> Is it unmarked, or did you label them and give them all names? I feel like we're giving a lot of power to this cardboard cutout. <laughs> You're the creep who buried them. <laughs> I'm not a creep. I'm just a treasure hunter. I'm trying to just stay in my lane and do what I know. What's the best treasure you've ever, ever, ever found? Oh, man. I've been waiting for someone to ask me this question. See, Scott? Sorry. You could have asked him that. Now, I'm a treasure connoisseur. I love the stuff. Like ketchup, mustard. What do you think I said? You're a treasure connoisseur. You right. like ketchup, mustard. What do you think that horseradish means? Horseradish connoisseur. It's like all the ketchup. No, mustard. no, no. What's a treasure connoisseur? That I, you dip it a gold coin in ketchup? I don't know. I was going to wait for you to explain I think, it. I think she's hung up on the word connoisseur. No, I know she is. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to put together the modifier treasure And the word connoisseur that she clearly thinks means something else. Mm. That's a peek behind the curtain. Thank you. So you think I dip, I dip doubloons in ketchup. What do you think I'd do after that? Dude, I don't want to know. You're nasty. (laughs) 
Go head out to your mass grave. <laughs> I buried the Flat Stanleys in various places. It was not a mass grave. So you don't know where the bodies are buried? But sure I do. You remember where all of them are buried? Yeah, I keep a sort of map of my treasures, a treasure map, if you will. So you call the bodies you've buried treasure? Yeah, they're treasure for kids to find. Okay, so what, what's the best treasure you've ever got? Oh, I've been waiting for someone to ask me this question. <laughs> now, as you know, a bit of a treasure, connoisseur. <laughs> so like, wait. <laughs> Like Trojans or like uh, lifestyles? Yeah. People like the Trojans who probably left treasure in the ocean. Any people had lifestyles like that? Absolutely. So. I follow. I was in the Asiatic Sea. Where is that? In Asia, <laughs> I'd read. <laughs> Where'd she go? To get my, to get my flow water. <laughs> oh, the flow has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to stay on my flow. The water inspired by flow from Progressive Insurance. <laughs> the lady that launched a thousand waters. That's right. So what'd you find, man? I got a tip on a message board. <laughs> <laughs> About a big dive. I mean, there was a big cache of treasure in the Asiatic Sea. It was said to be the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail? Like yeah. From, whoa. Like Monty Python DVDs? <laughs> Flushed down the toilet of the ocean? Yeah, they got real big in the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> then they washed out to sea. It was like a weird reverse sewer where the water went out to the ocean instead of the other way around. Uh-huh. You're, of course, talking about Christ's cup yeah. that he drank from... At the Last Supper. At the Last Supper, That's yes. right. Which uh, uh, presumably has mystical qualities, they say. Presumably. But, but still is an intriguing artifact nonetheless, regardless of its... Are you writing magic. an essay? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cup. The cup of a carpenter. So. So what was it? I go out on my treasure trawler. <laughs> I get into my diving submersible. And I'm going down, 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 under the sea. Just like Aerosmith. Sure, or Bruce Springsteen. Yep. What? You got one? Are we talking about people who are drowning in pussy? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's a, I honestly don't know. What so happened? I, I get to the ocean floor. The real one. What does it look like down there so Scott can imagine it? It's so dark and murky. Crazy fish live down there. Like those guys with a light bulb on a stalk coming out of their head. Fish that you can see through their brains. Guys like that. Wow. Could you see if they were like doing math? Like, you can't see any numbers. Like, beautiful minding? Yeah, but you can see if they're thinking real hard. Does it squish up? That's more about up? the face. Oh. I know when I'm thinking, my brain tightens up. How do you know that? Because water shoots out my ears. Asked and answered. <laughs> so I get down there to the bottom of the ocean. Right. Each little clam there, having a jam there. What? Huh? What? what was that song? What are you talking each about? Little, you said, each little clam there, having a jam there. Why are you doing that? 
<laughs> You're mocking me? No, that's how you sound. Please, what? Tracy, let him get to the thing that he found. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure. What was it? So I see a wreck. This is an ancient sailing vessel. Mm. Must go back to the Middle Ages. Mm. I can see a banner on it that indicates the Crusades. I feel like this must be real. I'm right. going to find the Holy Grail. And everybody's going to say, Brock, you did it. You found the Holy Grail. So Who's I, everybody? Like, who do you want to impress in your life? <laughs> please let him get to it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with her asking questions. <laughs> Who's like the person in your life that you most want to know that you found the treasure? My dad. And why is that, son? Do Was you want to he... role play with Scott as your dad? <laughs> we do not have time for this. <laughs> we're, we're... It could be pretty short. All right. <laughs> but since you don't know my dad, you be me and I'll be my dad. Okay, I know you. I Who know am you. I, the tree? Are you trying to steal focus? No, never. Hey, Dad. I found some treasure. Let me stop you there. Wait. You're a dumb disappointment and I disown you. Wait. That's not how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to be you and that's your dad. We do that version. No. Because then it's like it's supposed to go like what you dream would happen. But he doesn't know my dad. But he knows probably what you wish. What do you think I wish? You probably want him to wrap you up in a great big hug, uh, a lot like the ocean's embrace. The ocean's embrace is not a big hug, it's death. <laughs> we all get there, but you want him to love you, Brock. Yeah. See? Okay, so what did you find? What was it? I found a case, a wooden case, that was still very strong and very good condition. It was built very well. It took a lot to pry it open, but okay. I finally did. And then inside was? <laughs> it wasn't the Holy Grail. It was something even better. W better than the Holy Grail. And that yeah. thing was called? Friendship. Wait, so... So what? It was like... So someone you went there with? No, I made this shit up. It was so we could spend more time together. Wow. Oh, with you're, us. We well, yeah. with us. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like it too. No, the best thing I ever found was like... Like a half a million dollars in gold. Oh. It was great. That's tight. That was oh, a yeah. good day. Yeah. That was a really good day. Yeah. Like we partied on the boat. We're like... We did it. Yeah, I bet. We got, we got hammered. Yeah. We like drank. We drank a ton of beer and tequila. How many people in your crew? How did you? There's like seven guys. Yeah. Do you guys, think it's like cool to say you drank a ton of beer and tequila? Yeah, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, drank, Brock. Brock, love it, everyone. 